Everybody's Chris with Prepare My 101, something different today. It's not a knife, it's not a flashlight, but it is one of my other favorite things, which is anything that has to do with fire. So I got a box of samples from a company called Fiberlight that makes fire starters, fire starting material, uh, tinder, things that just help get a fire going. And there's a bunch of different things and they come in different little packages, which I'll show you. But I wanted to try this out for the first time on camera and see what I think of it. So if you like fire as much as I do and you like burning stuff, don't go away. All right, so this stuff comes in a variety of packages, but it looks like basically you got two different things, the fiber light itself and the Tinder Boost. And then you can get them like by the can, uh, refill packs, and you've got these little kits and the Tinder Boost and ferro rods and all that stuff. So let's go through this uh, one at a time and try it out, take a look at it, see what we think. So the actual fiber light you've got in the tins and it's gonna be the same thing in the refill pack so we can just set the refill pack aside. But it does come with a uh, like a ranger band keeping it nice and sealed which is cool. Let's just kinda of pull this thing off. Set that aside. And it says this is finely ground wood fiber and wax, basically. So seen, there's been a lot of different things like this. This one does feel like it would light a bit easier. It's not like overly waxed. So it claims, you know, three to seven minutes per pinch. So let's just call this a pinch. And I want to try this cool little mini ferro rod. I didn't realize it was a ferro rod at first. I saw the whistle. But uh, once I figured that out, so this scraper works one direction. Is that it? There it is. So you gotta have it on the right side. But I've never seen one like this. It's actually pretty uh, cool for a small kit. Get it back in the right side. So the flame's about what I expected it would be. Uh, I mean, it's it's tinder. It's not. The, we just want something that lights easy, burns a good long time, so you can you know build up around it. And I will go ahead. Didn't time it right at first. Go ahead and start it from here. So that's been probably what a minute. And I'll pause this and see how it goes. Okay, so adding a minute from where we started because I didn't start my start watch uh, right away. We are right at the lower end of that prediction. About three, you know, three minutes and counting. But, you know, I guess a lot of it comes down to what counts as a pinch. You know, if you're a really big dude, pinch is probably more than that. Did it work good? Yeah, it worked good. It uh, started right up with the ferro rod. So 
let's the one thing I want to see this tinder boost so it says squeeze out tinder boost onto any tinder light with fair rod match or lighter tinder boost will be a paste or liquid depending on ambient temperature so the tinder boost is basically an accelerant so let's throw some more on here do a man's pinch. And I'll open the whole thing since I can't very well reseal it. Ah, screw it. Go big or go home, right? Let's try the Big ferro rod. Some of this coating off the Jessmic C. If I can stop moving around. Actually, that scraper that came with the small one, that scraper was amazing. The right way. I mean, most, most included fire steel scrapers suck. But this scraper that's into this little whistle thing really good. I almost just want a pack of these things. Come on rain, you don't want to burn on me or dump on me. I'm looking at fire and talking about rain. So I definitely got it going a bit more, a bit faster. Let's pull the Ranger band off this Altoids tin kit here. So open this up. We've got some two packs of this accelerant. Ah, my favorite. The whistle ferro rod. And then we've got a base of about that much of the fiber light. Personally, I would say put a hair bit more fiber light in there and one of these tinder boosts, but you know, oh well. I guess it's got this in here too, but it would definitely get a fire going in an emergency with just this. So I just wanted to see what was in that one. Fire does seem a little bit more aggressive with that tinder or with the tinder boost on it. And I was able to, you know, it's still over here. Even though I flicked it, it sure as heck didn't go out. So those are the main products just packaged different ways. So you got the accelerant and the fiber light. And I do like this. I said there have been others. They're just a little too, they go too much for the burn time instead of the easy lightability. I think this strikes a nice, uh, man, this thing works great. I'll have to check the website. It'd be nice if they sell like packs of these. So now I want a bunch of them. Yeah, but it strikes a nice balance of being easy to light. So going over the different kits, uh, right now you've got the Fiber Light Fire Kit, which has got 
which is this. So that runs uh, $16.98. You've got a three pack of these. It's 28 bucks. It says light up the 30 fires with one can depending on skill. And you got the fire, fiber light fire bundle, which looks like it is one of these, one of these, one of these, one of these, and it's in a uh, canvas bag. That runs uh, 50 bucks. And the fiber light fire starter plus the refill bundle. So you've got a package which is one of these and one of these. Which that should last you a good long time. Uh, $22.95. So I could very well just get one of these. If I've already got some Altoids tin kits or I just want to set up my own different kind of fire kit like they've done here, uh, I would get some of that stuff and pack it in there as tight as I could because you could always break it up later. Overall, overall I like the products. You know, I, have to, I have tried others that take a little bit more effort. This is nice and simple. It's a nice balance and it works with minimal effort. I didn't expect much out of this thing either. <laughs> but this is like my favorite new gadget because of that striker. When I've eaten up this this tiny little ferro rod before I throw it away, I'm keeping this thing. And I'll attach it to a key ring or a, or a ferro rod or something like that because it just works, it scrapes so well so easily much better than you know the little hacksaw blade ones that don't hardly work at all so there you go that's uh fiber light stuff i'll add this to my to my stuff and try it out some more we go camping maybe get a chance to use it here like a week or so i think i got uh, boy scout camp uh, got a weekend of that I will have links to this in the description box below. So overall, I like the product uh, much better than you know previous ones that I don't even think are in business anymore. You know, like premium, like store-bought fat wood, premium fat wood. It's like I don't want to always have to carve fat wood. Fat wood's great, but you know this stuff works pretty easily. And it gave me a chance to play with the Jessamine C again, so that's always good. So as I said, links to the website will be in the description box below. I'm not sure if they sell on Amazon or not. If they do, I will add that to the store. But if not, I'll go ahead and just put the links to the website down there. All right, guys, that's all i got for right now. Chris from Prepare My 101. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click like, share, and subscribe. Check out the links down below. I'll be back with another video here soon, so see you then.